I've done a few tests on the AR-15 trying to find ammo to be suitable for usage in self-defense. So things like Winchester's PDX-1 did fantastic, Lehigh Defenses Control Chaos did fantastic, but how does it compare to just general military ball ammo? You know, standard issue XM-193F, like this example from Federal. Let's find out. Let's take a block of genuine FBI specification professional ballistic gelatin, which ballistic gel is designed to mimic the uh, density and the, the response, the, the ballistic response of human muscle tissue. So firing a bullet into this stuff should give us a pretty good idea of what that bullet would do if it was fired into a human body. So let's see how military ammo holds up when we look at using it for self-defense purposes. This is a nice section of the M193 round. The permanent cavity starts about two inches in and stretches up to about 10 inches. We don't really know quite how far it would have gone because it exited off the top of the block there and that's actually something to see. Rotate that over and open that up. You can see that it blew out the block completely so let's find a spot about halfway through and reveal that we've got complete destruction in here pull it halfway see what that looks like we've got a massive cavity from here all the way down let's get a ruler on that look at about four and three quarters inches of complete destruction see how that cavity just opens up that's what the flush would have looked like. That's, that's how a rifle round disrupts and destroys what it comes in contact with. And you can see the little flex. The round is completely disintegrated. It exited about 10, 10 inches. We don't know how much further it may have gone, but there's just little tiny fragments left behind. So, All right, the results of the XM193, that was... I mean, it's horrifying what the bullet does. When, when it works properly and when it fragments, it creates a tremendous amount of damage. Um, I don't think it was on par with what we saw from the 223 uh, self-defense rounds that I've tested, like the uh, PDX-1. In this particular case, and this is one reason why you're really better off if you can have multiple blocks and test multiple rounds to make sure you get an overall view, but with the rifles, I mean, one round per block is really all you can do. And so I did the one, and in this case, the bullet exited out the top of the block pretty early. We could actually see it in the slow motion footage exiting out the top. And so that limited the amount of penetration we got. We still had, I don't really want to use the word explosive because nothing exploded, but the, the fragmentation, the damage that was done in there was uh, kind of explosive. So I think this would be a horrifying wound. What I'm saying is, in the other types of rounds that I've tested, they also had a deeper penetrating component. Uh, the PDX-1 had the split core and it had a hollow point bullet that it did similar fragmentation damage, but it also did deeper hollow point damage that we didn't see from the XM-193. Uh, and we had the same situation with the Lehigh Controlled Chaos. It did similar fragmentation, uh, created a similar nasty wound cavity like the XM-193 did, but it also had a deep penetrating solid base that went a full over 20 inches. It's a lot cheaper than self-defense ammo. You can buy this stuff in bulk. 
it's good stuff. You should have some of this. You should buy some of this if your rifle's chambered for 5.56 NATO. Not all rifles are. Some are 223 Remington only. But if you have a dual 556 and 223, this is an option. Uh, but if it came to a situation where I had to depend on the rifle to defend myself and my loved ones, I would probably rather go with the dedicated self-defense ammo over the military ammo uh, just because it does offer a little more. It does offer that deep, penetrating, expanding hollow point base. So I think that if I had to head-to-head -head XM193 against PDX-1, I'd take PDX-1. But, you know, once you're out of PDX-1 and you're in a situation where you need a lot of ammo, pick up a bunch of this stuff in bulk because it is pretty devastating. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it informational. And if you like what you saw, hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified when the next video is posted.